Okay, so this is a quick tutorial to show you how to use tripline.net, which is basically a um, timeline with events and places tacked onto it, um, kind of a map, you know, just like a Google map. So it's very easy. Just click on create a new map once you've logged in. Go ahead and give it a title. We'll call this just a test. We're going to make it a trip, and we'll make our original destination Raleigh here. If this is up to you, I'm just going to make this public for the sake of this, um, and we're going to start from Raleigh, North Carolina. Um, and currently I'm a traveler and you can always add more people later if you want to, but create my map. So it's going to create the map and initially it starts you in your exact spot. So you can see down here that you can, you'll see a list of these places they start to appear. So let's say for example we want to go to a, another place. You can notice it says insert after <clears throat> Raleigh, North Carolina. So this is going to come after direct. It's going to either choose your option, direct, driving, on foot, bicycle, custom. And let's say, let's go to um, Asheville, North Carolina. So we'll search for that. There it is. And I can click add place. And once I've added place, you'll notice that it does pop up down here as well. All right. So let's just say I have those two spots. You can either edit and um, click on edit there in where the bullet is. And you can come down here and edit, type what you want. And you can put an address, phone numbers, websites, whatever the case is, through your player animation. If you click pause, once it gets to this place, it's going to pause, all right, and then show you the stuff. You can also do pass through or slideshow, and you can just play around with those to see what you like. You can set the time in which you were there, everything that you want to do. Um, and now you can do the same thing for Riley. You can click on edit, all the same information, test, test. You get the idea. You click update, and there you go. So now you can save your map as you want. So let's give it a second to save here. So let's say you've saved your map and you notice that you have these points, right? Now you want to add some pictures. So if you want to edit it, you just click on that again. But let's say we want to add some photos. You can find them through, our option is going to be finding them through the computer, but you obviously have Facebook, Instagram, Flickr, and Picasa. Half of these are blocked. I think all three of them except for maybe Picasa are blocked. So you're just going to choose your photos and browse through them through here. You can see I don't have any photos, but if I was going to upload one, I would do that. So then you just click choose photos and same thing for Asheville. You can add edit information, make a comment, whatever the case is. You can always delete it if you want to. There you go. So that is how you do tripline. And then one quick thing here, when you, if this is just how you add pictures, but let's say if you want to edit the map again, you just click edit and you can always add another point and you can add them whenever you want. Let's come down here and notice how these are still here to be added and you can delete them if you want. So that's tripline.net, very simple tool, very easy to use. When you get to the final product, you'll click save and exit when everything's done. You make sure that you add your pictures and comments you want here, and you can click share. We just need that link right there. So if you can get that link to your teachers, that's all you need to do. You can copy it, send it in an email to them, whatever the case is. You can always do these other options if you prefer to, but that's the gist of tripline.